most mobile gamers believe that there's probably nothing better than a console game ported to mobile or made entirely for mobile that you can actually play with a controller on the go, specifically when there is no internet connection. If you're looking for something like that, today we've rounded up a good list of some of the best single player offline games with CS to play on your Android and iOS devices on the go. Number one, just a bit of a quick mission over here to a missing gym, almost. I never mentioned this game before, although it has been getting a bit greedy lately, considering it's an offline free-to-play game. Well, first of all, we have All-Star Streetball. Uh, this is a street basketball action game from a missing developer that's very beginner-friendly and quite easy to get the hang of. It's about 3 gigabytes in total, that's one of the downsides of the game, and the other problem is that almost all of the game's in-game content is just now purchasable, but it's still a really good basketball game. Moving on. At number two, and this has actually been out for quite a while, we have Death Park 2, which is the second game of its first-person survival series of games, set in a city with a clown who's on a mission to spread just panic. If you like science fiction stories a tad in your survival horror games, like Silent Hill or even The Evil Nun or Granny, this one over here is probably for you. It's a very good game, got the thrill, horror, but eight different endings and a really good amount of puzzles. On top, the whole thing is playable offline, about 400 megabytes, and works with any controller. Number three, uh, it's probably the crown jewel of all offline realistic sim games, uh, specifically if you're into formula cars. Real Racing 3 is actually published by EA Games and has been fine-tuned and polished ever since 10 years ago. It features a large collection of cars and a nice little variety of mods to keep you engaged for quite a while. Overall boasts really high quality graphics, some of the best sound effects, a career mode, multiplayer, playable offline and works with any controller as well. We are not ordinary soldiers. We are the best pilots the world has ever known. Ported to mobile after 4 years of sitting on Steam, now downloaded over 10 million times on the Play Store and a 4.5 out of 5 rating. And number 4, we have Warplanes World War II Dogfight. It's gotta be legitimately the most detailed, well-designed and optimized flight combat sim game on the platform, if not in the whole world. If not that, it's at least the best aerial fighting game on mobiles, it's got amazing explosions, really good variety of aircraft to choose and a really good visual too for just 250 megabytes i don't even know how that works coming from the same developers of space marshals we've got over here number five xena work perhaps if not set in vain an even more engaging and challenging top-down action shooter halfway an alien shooter and dungeon crawler as opposed to all space marshal games it has great graphics never heard of a bug with it smooth as smooth can be perfectly balanced for anyone with a taste for shooters works with a controller mainly an offline game and this is really how it looks Moving on to number six, one hell of an underrated game on the entire platform. And also a spin-off of the popular Fairy Breaks game, we've got here Fairy Skater, which is simply the most entertaining, fun to play and easy to pick up and play offline controller support mobile game that will definitely leave a smile on your face on every little few minutes that you get to play before going back to the real world. In this game, you see, your mission is to just skate for as long as you can, perform tricks, and all the while collect as many rewards as you can. Look, sitting on the play store with almost 10,000 downloads as a paid game, however, taking you down a $3 only and a hefty 1GB storage. Number 7, we have Aeroflight FS23, a series of offline flight sim open world games that started life back in 2019. 
They're actually pretty advanced in visuals, just like the Flight Simulator Microsoft games. They're really big in scale. FS23 over here is not only a more worthy of a sequel in price, scale, graphics, or quality, it's also offering a much bigger part of the USA and the most bug-free game in its series. If you're looking for a premium puzzle platformer, Oddworld New and Tasty is one of the most visually and quality advanced games released on the platform. It's been around for like five years and the thing about it is that upon release, it did have quite a bit of bugs and glitches, but a few months ago, developers released a patch that made the game like bug free and like it's just right now a perfect example of how a mobile game should be ported. Not only it's got amazing touch controls, it works even better with the controller. The whole thing, as long as your phone screen is big enough, feels like a PlayStation 4 game on a TV, just play it if you can afford the price. can get this one unofficially, however, for free, but please don't. Better support developers, works with the controller and offline all the way. Downloaded over a hundred thousand times since a week ago, since the franchise's discount on all platforms. At number nine, we have here a Slaughter 3. I've mentioned the first game of its series earlier in the week. Previously, these were paid games, and now uh, the first one is free. This one is still a five dollar one, but on the Apple Store, it's about less than half a dollar right now. So, if you like, this game has legitimately some of the best graphics and gameplay mechanics and action shooter offers on mobile. All three games, though, in the series are about half a dollar on iOS, all playable offline and support controllers. Yeah. Initially a mobile game, then uh, coming to PCs from over 7 years ago with number 10 we have Republic. This game is a stealth-based action-adventure survival horror with a twist, which is you can only see the world through surveillance cameras, or working together with a human that you control to sneak in places you should go. It's a free game though on mobiles, has like 5 chapters in total, the story that requires you to listen really carefully to understand, and the whole thing's offline and play with a controller as well. Moving on to number 11, it's a very, very well-known top-down and portions, but it is core open-world action RPG adventure of a kind mobile game uh, going by Ocean Horn. Probably you'd get by mixing Uncharted with Zelda, more on the Zelda side though, the classic ones. It's a puzzle, mostly rather action, but it's a story-focused game too, and pretty good in every single element for a free game. So great controls, great graphics, great story, about 25-something hours of gameplay, and works with pretty much any controller. At number 12, uh, we've got Rocket League Sideswipe. Uh, first off, it's actually a mobile spin-off of Rocket League that came out kind of last year. And the single most fine-tuned touchscreen support on the Google Play that, in my opinion, uh, in gameplay mechanics, this goes beyond a mobile game has ever had to offer. It's a skill-based platform style a soccer and racing game, downloaded over 10 million times already and so far considered as one of the most addicting games on the platform. And moving on to number 13, we have Vita Fighters. This has got to be one of the most underrated fighting games in any list of mobile games, not just fighting or offline games. This thing's been around for over four years now and is getting nothing, only getting better. It's a one versus one, a pretty much old school style fighter and taking cues from every single fighting game that's ever been famous, hence the rating. It's a 4 out of 5, because it's a mishmash of a lot of things. It's a free one, 200 megabytes in total, and works with a controller. Number 14. 